Anna Turner, who played the lead, had just come out of one of the greatest scandals of her acting career. Her acting career may well have ended if this movie hadn't come along because of the scandal associated with her personal life. For those of you who aren't that familiar with Lana Turner, she's probably best known for doing film noir called The Postman Never Rings Twice. But the film that, that we're looking at today, Imitation of Life, came out at the very end of the 1950s, 1959. In 1958, Lana Turner had been involved in a massive murder scandal where she'd been dating a gangster, or indeed a gangster's bodyguard, called Johnny Stumpanado. Jeez. And he'd been very violent and abusive of her and her own daughter. So this is art reflecting life. Oh, wow. Lana Turner's daughter actually killed him in the middle of a violent altercation in order to protect her mother. So this had all been playing out in the courts and in the media. Oh, Jesus. And then she gets cast as being... as in this imitation of life movie as a famous actress with a troubled relationship with her daughter and with men. I can see why maybe as far as publicity goes, this film would have attracted the public's attention. They're like, here we go. Like, <laughs> That's insane. So that was Lana Turner's return to the screen. <laughs>